I, I never really um, paid attention to ATMs and uh, where they're located until I actually got into it. Hi, good evening, everyone. This is Andrea Rich coming to you from ATM Together with another phenomenal client testimony out of Colorado this evening. Emil, are you there? Hi. Hi, good evening. Thank you for joining me. Before we begin, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Emil. I'm 33 years old. I'm an optical engineer by trade, but I've uh, uh, been taking some time off right now and sort of trying to get some passive income sources going. So uh, one of the avenues that I was looking at was ATMs. And so I heard about the ATM Together program um, and sort of dove in feet first, right? Okay, so how exactly did you come across ATM Together? Um, this was a referral from just a friend, and um, then I looked it up and saw the testimonials on the Facebook page and read on some of the client stories. You said that you're an optical engineer by trade, which this ATM industry is a far cry from what you do in your quote-unquote real life. So what was appealing to you about the ATM industry that made you want to join ATM together? Um, the most appealing thing to me was the low cost of entry. So I recently bought a house and was considering, I still am considering getting other real estate properties to um, get that ramped up, generate some passive income going. But ATMs give similar returns and the barrier for entry is at about 2% the price of real estate, something like that, right? So. Okay, okay, pretty awesome. And congratulations on purchasing your home. With the ATM industry and this being new to you, as a novice, how did you find the information presented to you by ATM Together? I found it very straightforward. Um, there was a little bit of research that it, I want to do before any investment, right? Um, yeah. You want to learn a little bit more about the program. Um, so I uh, sort of reached out to the team, again, read those client testimonials and then asked questions. And then once I felt comfortable, I um, went in. So. Communication, that's a big key in any endeavor. You started virtually with people that you've never met. Although you had a referral, how was communicating with the team virtually for you? I think it was great. Um, I'm sort of used to working in a virtual environment. Before this, I was a teacher and had to teach virtually, right? So um, I'm pretty comfortable with that aspect of it. But um, the thing that I liked best about the, t the um, team was that they're very easy to contact over Facebook. And um, usually I get same day, same hour responses, which I found very helpful because uh, when I'm learning this, you know, um, I, you, you get questions on the fly that you need yeah. to be answered. What kind of questions did you have when you first joined? Probably how do you uh, source locations, what good locations are, um, what kind of return can you expect? Yes. Uh, things along those lines. Okay. And it's safe to say that they answered your questions, you know, almost immediately, which is great. Now, right. whenever you find something good that's appealing, you'll tell somebody about it. So who would you tell about ATM Together and why? Who will I tell? I mean, I've told just about everybody. Um, you know, I don't make it a secret, really. Um, I'm, I'm a big believer in networking. And uh, I told, I met a guy at the gym. He ended up being a real, st real estate agent, helped me buy my house. And um, he was walking around the local breweries here and noticed that there was an ATM out of order. Mm -hmm. So um, I went there the other day and it turns out that they can't communicate with the owner and I have a third location lined up, so. Okay, that's phenomenal. So you yeah. put the ATM together for a little over two months and you're working on your third uh, ATM location. That's incredible. And they say that your network is your net worth. So, you know, it's, sometimes it's not what you know, but who you know. So that's phenomenal. Do you have any good information for anyone who may be watching this video later? Just sort of be aware of your surroundings. You know, I, I never really um, paid attention to ATMs and uh, where they're located until I actually got into it. And then I started becoming very intrigued, right? Every location that I go to, I sort of, look, see if they have an ATM, think about the area, is there high foot traffic in the area, things like that. 
So Emil, this was phenomenal, straight, cut and dry. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate you here and we're looking forward to you scaling your business. I appreciate that. Thanks for talking with me, Andrew. All right, thank you.